What's up, y'all? I am Canine Cuisine, the smoke lamb specialist. Come get what I do. Let us be your who when it comes to lamb. Today, we're doing smoked venison burgers. I know all of our wild game meat eaters are going to be happy about this recipe right here. It is so good. So good, I tell you. There's going to be something else for you to eat. Some else for you to eat another way if you already eating wild game. And some of y'all gonna be scared, but you gonna do it. You heard me. Yeah, man. Smoked venison burger. What's up, y'all? Check out all these ingredients. We got some ground venison, we got bacon. We got flat leaf Italian parsley. We got ground almond cheese, little sage, little nutmeg, little thyme, little Quaker oats, Spanish onion, unsalted butter, and an egg. All this is going inside the burger. And we got three frozen bacon strips. I'm gonna tell you why they frozen in just a minute. And these are the ingredients for our Cumberland sauce. The Cumberland sauce it was, is what completes the venison burger. It makes that venison meat come alive, that Cumberland sauce. We're gonna start off breaking down these rolled oats. Rolled oats are necessary to make sure that our burger is moist because venison meat is very lean. This is the texture that you're looking for with your oats, not too chunky, not too fine. We want them to be distributed well through the burger and we chopped up the bacon strips so they'll process easier in the food process. All right, this is the texture that we want with our bacon strips. The only way we were able to achieve this is because the meat was frozen. If it was warm meat, we wouldn't have got this texture right here. And then we're gonna move on to these Spanish onions. You know, with me, certain ingredients, they must be uh, given a certain amount of attention. So I made sure I seasoned these onions and I sauteed them because I don't like crunchy vegetables in my burgers. So we took care of two things. My, my onions got the attention with the flavor and they not crunchy. So we let those onions cool and we mixed it with everything else. The uh, the ground venison, we got the, the, the bacon, we got the parsley, we got the other dried uh, seasonings in there and we worked it together. We massaged it in, got the almond cheese in there, all that's gonna help the moisture. And uh, I forgot my egg, so I had to come back with the egg and fold that in and then we got to here. You know, so we got everything ready for our burgers. We gotta section them off and make them into patties. Now, we got our patties together. All we gotta do is season. So, I season these with Lowry season salt and Zatarain's blackened seasoning, which really ain't no blackened seasoning. It really just need to be named uh, Zatarain's, that seasoning you need when you can't think about what you need to really have on the burger. <laughs> Type of seasoning, here, man. That's, that's the best I can tell you, cause it ain't no blackened seasoning. Now we're moving on to the smoker. We ain't grilling, so we ain't gotta stay out here with it. We just gonna slap it on the smoker and walk away. You can do that with a smoker. That's why I love it. And then we're gonna get started on this Cumberland sauce. We're gonna start off with some unsalted butter, and then we're gonna move on to these shallots. Shallots are the best option to me when you are making a sauce. I don't fool with onions when it come down to a sauce. Now I will if I got to, but you know, shallots are, are beating onions when it come down to making these sauces. And once you start doing it, you're gonna see, you're gonna be like, yeah, man, I really do like them shallots better than I like them onions. So we throw it in some, some dried mustard and cayenne pepper. We are blooming the spices, make sure they, they come alive in the sauce. And then we're gonna come with this dry sherry. Dry sherry is great for uh, making a sauce. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a trusty dusty, you hear me? It's, you, you can count on this this wine to make it happen. You can also use it as a substitution for uh, Shaoxin wine and Asian recipe. Yeah, man. So glad you're watching this video because we wanted you to know that we offer the most distinct I 
they said the most distinct smoked racks of lamb in Memphis. Come get what I do. Let us be your who when it comes to lamb. Text I want lamb to 9017299544 for order info. We smoke racks of lamb every Friday. Yeah, man. You heard me. Now we back outside checking on the meat. This meat getting kind of dry. So we're going to have to do something about that in a minute. You heard me. But we're going to run back in the house right quick because we see this dry sherry done reduce. So we're going to have to introduce another liquid, which is going to be this beef stock. We're going to let this uh, sit up in here and reduce and intensify and add more flavor to this sauce that's so cold for deer meat. You, you, you just want to have this on deck when you got deer meat. You know what I'm saying? We're going to run back outside because this meat dry. You know what I'm saying? You can't have it dry too long. I know a lot of people used to having dry meat. They don't do no mopping because I'm a mopper. You hear me? I, I believe you got to be a mopper. You got to put that mop on there. Make sure your, your meat moist and glistening and your smoke got somewhere to run to. When you put that bus back on there, man, that smoke running to that bus back. It's going gonna, it's gonna to put more smoke on there. It already got smoke, but it's going to get some more smoke on there. And see, now we got to go back in the house and see the beef stock then reduce the again. So we got to introduce something else. We're going to come with the red currant jelly. It's almost the last ingredient for this Cumberland sauce, but it's the key ingredient to make Cumberland sauce Cumberland sauce. The red currant jelly. You know what I'm saying? I know it's something you don't see every day. It took me a while to find it, but you know, you always got Amazon and you can always go to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has some good stuff too. That Trader Joe's don't pay me. I'm just saying, that's where you can go find something else. The last little thing with that lemon zest. Now we through. But see, we got to strain this sauce because I don't like no, no, no chocolates in my sauce. I don't like no chocolatey sauce sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So we got to strain this out. We got to get all them little. Them little chunkless out, them shallots, you know, red currant jelly have some little stuff all in it. We don't want all that on this glaze, man. So we're gonna have to strain it into this old uh bowl. You hear me? This 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 one them, them grandmama, them, them ugly bowl from grandmama house, you hear me? From 1981, you hear me? It jump was 5'81, but not not old. Yeah, that's that cumberland sauce right there. So smooth and glistening. So what we're gonna do now is put all this sauce, not all of it, just enough to make sure we have a good strong glaze on this venison meat. This is gonna make that venison meat come alive. And it's gonna be candy coated. This ain't got nothing to do with, with candy birds now, but this is candy coated. Yeah, man, you see it, it is glistening. All right, for the toppings, we're gonna come with that uh, Napa cabbage for the crunch. Then we're gonna come with that Marconi hot jardinera. You know what I'm saying? That, that Chicago spice on there. And we're gonna put it on top of this burger, man. You know this looks like a 76 Chevy Impala with the hood up showcasing the engine, man. Look at that thing. That thing looks so good. Yeah, man. You can do it too. You don't know my. You see it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, it's taste time. We're finna taste this burger and see what's going on with this burger. I, I know you can see, oh my God. It's, it's so delicious looking. We gonna see how good it tastes though. Y'all just bear with me now. This, this is a, a mighty big sandwich. Let me, let, me, let me grab it the right way. Okay, here, here, here we go. That's good. You can taste all the smoke. You can taste the bacon. You can taste the sage, the thyme. You got the Marconi. Giardinero on there that gives that, that spice. And then you got the uh, Cumberland sauce glaze, which complements the spice, so it just, it just balances out very, very well. And then you got the Napa cabbage, give you that little crunch. 
so good. You need to try this. You know what I'm saying? If you are a wild game meat eater, try this way. I know you got your own way, but try this right here. It is it is good. It is working. You hear me? And also, don't forget, I am Canine Cuisine, the smoked lamb specialist. We have the most distinct lambs in Memphis, in my opinion. We have so many varieties, so many recipes. We can we can we can take a lamb so many ways. However you want to do it, we can do it. It's, it's not going to be the norm. It's going to be so gourmet. You hear me? But yeah, I appreciate everybody for checking in, tuning in to my channel, subscribing. But make sure you like my channel as well. You like this video, you know, uh, support me. You know, we a small channel. We trying to get big, though. We trying to add value with all these different recipes because, you know, all my videos got something different. I don't have nothing common on here. I try to put something on here that's, that's different. Just make you be like, oh, I never tried that, you know. So I like pushing the envelope, trying new things, and whatever I learn, I like to share it with you. But I appreciate you. I thank the Lord for you every time. You hear me? Yeah, man.